Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, so in this video we are going to be covering, um, we're going to be covering the silver and gold market, the long term picture on the silver and gold market, and why we may be getting ready for another nice move in silver and gold. Plus also, I'm going to teach you something about the markets that is really, really, really important to understand. That's going to help you when trading that get to get it really, 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 or have a really high probability chance of you doing really well in the markets. Because when you look at the markets, all right, the markets, the markets do move, but there's really, there's some patterns that form in the market that give you high probability of doing well in the markets. Okay. Now, um, so that's what I want to cover today, and you're, and you're going to absolutely love this. And you're going to really, really, really get it. You know, you're going to really get a lot out of that. Now, before I start, guys, if you haven't done so, or um, I'm actually running a free web class today, and on that free web class, I'm going to be walking you through my number one trading system that I've used for the last 15 years. Plus, you're going to see dozens of rule examples, so you can start to apply this to your trading today. Okay, on this trading, I'm going to walk you through the four-step process that you can, so you can start to get started today. If you're struggling with your trading right now, you need to go join the the the, the web class where I'm going to walk you through step by step by step on that on on that free training there. So go to johnslivetrading.com or click on the link in the description where you can start to see my number one trading system and you can start to apply this to your trading right now today, okay? So when you leave there, you will have without even buying anything from anything like that, you will have the foundations that what I look for in a really high successful um, trade. So let's have a look at the long-term process here on silver and gold, okay? Long-term process here, okay? The, the long-term view. What's been happening here with the long-term view? We've been we've been going sideways for quite some time, haven't we? Really, really. How, how long has that been? Hmm, oh, it's only about, about two months. <laughs> really? Such a long time. Um, <laughs> right? So we've been going sideways here for quite some time now, and we really have been building up a lot of steam here. Not really much happening on, on, the, on the gold front there. As you can see, right, really, really, really pulling back through here. But if you go through to this daily chart or this weekly chart, I squeeze my weekly chart up, I wouldn't be too surprised that once we actually start to break above this, well, that's that, that sort of level through there. You now, people say, what is that level? It's not an exact level, around the, around, around the highs, okay? If we start to break above, say, 1550, then we're probably on our way up to say 1800 and maybe even a lot more after that. So really interesting long-term, guys, oh, I don't know why, but Harry Dent keeps talking about that gold in a bubble. What? <laughs> it's been going up. It's going up right now. Do not be calling, like, don't be calling short when something is seriously in a bullish trend. Yes, I understand if we start to roll over, then yes, we're gonna change with the markets, but no. And the same for silver, right? Now, Harry, I don't know. I don't know if Harry Dent is still calling that, but I'm pretty sure he's saying that market's gonna go down and silver and gold's gonna go down. It's like, come on, man. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I, it, it just blows my mind. Harry Dent doesn't even trade the markets. He doesn't even invest in the markets, but yet he's one of the one of the commentators of these markets and trying to predict when the top's gonna be and so on and so forth. It's just Pretty crazy. Anyway, same with silver, right? Look at this here. Silver is still way, way, way low, right? Silver is the most undervalued asset up there. So I see silver probably breaking above 20. Once it breaks above this 20 level, oh my goodness, it's going to be absolutely on like Donkey Kong. So I want to bring up, guys, I want to bring up something here. I'm going to bring up a chart here for a minute, okay? And let's just bring up a weekly chart here. I'm going to bring up a weekly chart of, of the transports here, the transportation average. And... When we look at the transportation average, and when we when we're seeing this, um, we can see that um, we can see that on on this transportation average, I want to share something with you. Okay, the thing that we see um, by looking at these markets here, okay, we can see that look at this here. When we start to combine trend analysis with small bars, large bar, what does what does that mean? So if we have if we look at this here, right? Look at this here. High, low, high, low, high. Look at all these small bars and then the breakaway bar, right? Small bars, breakaway bar. High, low, small bars, breakaway bar, right? As you can see, and then the market ran on. 
if we go and continue on through, and this is this is what we're looking through here, right? We have a nice, we're starting to c continue a bullish trend. Look at all these small bars and then the breakaway bar. Now, yes, we're looking at a weekly chart, but this could be a daily chart, okay? Then let's move it forward a bit, a bit through here. Let's open this chart up here. Look what, look what was going on through here. Come on, chart. Work with me. There we go, okay? Look what was going on through here. Look at this here. We had what? We had a low, a higher low, a higher high, high low. Now notice something here, okay? Notice, this is the key to jumping on a move that is likely to start. One, we have a trend, right? High low, high low, high low. Notice all the bars are pretty small. And then we get this breakaway bar. Notice how this bar is so much more dominant than one what we've had here for quite some time. And we've got a volume spike. Ah, that's one of the keys, right? That's one of the keys to to getting that, you know, to, to, to having that there. You know what I mean? So big volume spike and a big and a big bar. That's the key to say, okay, we're now start we're now likely to what? We're now likely to start a move to the upside. And as you can see, right, we actually had a what was that? That was about 11% moving up shot. Now with options, that's 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 between 80 and 100% plus in an option, right? Very nice short-term move. So as you can see, these short-term moves are everywhere, and when you start to combine these small bars, large bar, big volume trend analysis, trend, small bars, large bar, short-term move, high low, high low trend, all small bars, large bar, volume short-term move two to five days this is what i call it right it's two to five days two to five days two to five days so as you can see right like this is the foundation to to a successful setup now yes not all of these are going to make successful trades and this is what i call a short-term trade now if you're interested in learning more about that then make sure you go to john's live training well i'm going to walk you through more details about that what i just walked you through there right you can take what you've learned today and don't have to go to the web class but you're going to learn more about that and I'm also going to share with you my long-term play where you, where you can hold on for three, four weeks and plus more to start to generate some significant return. We're talking hundreds of percent potentially, sometimes up to 500%, maybe a thousand percent potentially out of a trade and what I look for and so much for. And also how I look for these, how, how I actually scan these trades using technology and within one hour per day and so much more. You're going to absolutely love that. All right. So go to Make sure you go to johnslivetraining.com to jump on that web class. I think it's the very first link in the description below. Um, I, or you can see that through there. Makes sense? So that's what we're looking at through there, guys. Okay, so whenever we're, whenever you start to see that combination of small bars, large bar, and so on and so forth, right? Let, let me give you an example of a trade that I'm in. I'm actually in right now. Now, um, I do not want you to be trading this, okay? The trade's been done and dusted already, so do not be getting into this, but I just want to share with you exactly what I talked about just to then and how I trade the markets. BTU is a trade. Look at all these. What do we have here? Trend. Lower high, lower high, lower high. Small bars. Look at all these small bars. Notice his very first large bar with volume. Look what happened. Bam, 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 bam. Now that doesn't look like much, does it? Do you know the option's up over 100% return right now? I think it's maybe over 100% or maybe it's backed off, maybe it's around about 100% return right now as I speak. Now I'm still in this right now. I have no idea what's going to happen. It's either going to go up in the next few days and I'm going to get out with a profit or it's going to continue down and then I'm going to get out with more of a profit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's all good, right? But I'm just sharing with you guys like the foundation to a good trade is what I'm talking about here, right? Now there's a lot more that goes into it. You know, it takes me literally a few hours really to go through that, but on that live, live johnslivetraining.com, I can spend literally 20 minutes, maybe half an hour, walking you through not just what the setup looks like, a lot more details, but looking at the Forex market, the futures market, the stock market, and how I use options, and how I scan these trades, and so much more for. You're gonna absolutely love that. So you go to, when you go to johnslivetraining.com. But I'm just sharing with you, right? This is what I, this is how I, this is how I trade in the real market. I'm a trader every single day in these markets. Makes sense, and you can see what's going on through here, right? There was uh, another trade that that I that I traded here, right? This is back. This is a trade that I did just uh, a while ago. Look at this here. This is uh this is actually towards the end of last month, right? Look at this here. Small bars. What's that there? See how that that bar's a lot larger and volume. Oh, look what happened. Bam, 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 bam. Came down. I got out there somewhere again. Over a hundred percent return on the trade. That was just last month, right? And you know, so you can see here, right? All the small bars, small bars, low volume, larger bar, big volume. 
Oh, and away we go. Right, and then there was another one here. I didn't trade this one. I missed it, actually. But look what we have here. Look at this here. Small bars. See all the sideways small bars? Then the breakdown bar. Big volume. And we actually can, and then we actually continue down nicely from there. It actually bounced off that level there. And that was a major, major level of support there. But as you can see, right, look at that there. If I bring that back through to here. Look at that there. What, are the, what, are, what do I always say? Two to five day move, right? Look at there. One, two days later. Or oh, even three days later, he definitely would have been out this day here because that was a definitely, definitely rejection there. Um, but, you know, even if he did that, there's still a really, really nice profitable trade. Small bars, large bar. Make sense? So I hope you can see, guys, by looking at this here, by looking at these markets and by trading the markets this way, that you really can do really, really, really well out of that. So once again, guys, if you're interested in learning more about what I've just talked about here today, now you can take what I've learned today, watch this video two or three times to really grasp what I'm saying. But if you'd like to really get a grasp on that, then go to johnslivetrading.com where you're going to see all the details. Again, guys, I'm going to walk you through dozens of really examples I've taken this year on the Forex market, two-minute charts, five-minute charts, weekly charts, daily charts, even the crypto, okay? So we're going to be really, really, really looking at that. Plus also what I look for, that what I look for in a setup that, that gives me the potential to hold on and that can potentially generate a lot of money, not just a 100% return, like a short-term trade like this, but I could be in it for two to five weeks and it could be 500% return potentially, maybe even a 1,000% return potentially over, say, three, four, five-week period, what I look for, what I use, and so on and so forth, okay? So anyway, guys, I hope this helps you out. Leave a comment below, guys. Let me know what you think about silver and gold. What do you think is going to happen with silver and gold moving forward? And also, uh, do you guys own, what sort of silver and gold stocks do you own right now? What's your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Before you go, I am giving away a free trial to the Master Trader Lab with all the different trading courses you can see on the screen right now. So go to mastertraderlab.com right now. I'm running a special over the next few days. So go to mastertraderlab.com to get a free trial to all the different trading courses you can see on the screen right now. So go to mastertraderlab.com.